Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Friday here, 18 October. Busy week. Uh, yesterday was also a busy day. Sterling, wow. Um, what a move. Let's talk about it. Uh, we had this Brexit deal done. Trade up to 129.88. I don't, I don't know why this is showing uh, 92, but 88 was the high. Um, 129.89 on this chart. Anyway, uh, the whole market got long, um, and as you can see here on the hourlies, up to 88, and then all the way down to 127.60. What a clusterfuck that was. We actually got caught a little bit. Um, at 128.30 and then uh, just off for a day trade we puked that stuff out 127.90 so annoying um, should have just left it alone anyway we're square sterling now we, you know, we're short some calls for a couple more days at 128 the figure um, we have this now a meeting and a vote on Saturday so today we're expecting sort of a news driven day we're gonna get some tweets from the left we're gonna get some tweets from the right sterling is gonna zip up and zip down uh, but in general you can fade all extremes today because there's just a bunch of lying that's gonna happen before the vote on Saturday um, so the usual uh, lying to get leverage uh, is our expectation today in Sterling. We um, will be avoiding it as a pair today. I think it's more than likely we'll just leave it alone. Kiwi broke out last night through 55. Um, we were up at 2 a.m. trading this, so we're a little bit tired today. Uh, here we are, 68, 76 has been the high. Put in that triple top. Um, and now we've cleared out some new highs. We had Chinese data overnight. Speaking of liars, um, China says their GDP is going and growing at 6.2, expected 6.1, so that beat marginally. Industrial production was lower, 4.4 was expected 5. Retail sales, 7.5. Um, quarter on quarter, GDP 1.6. So steady numbers out of China, whether they're true or not, it's hard. <clears throat> excuse me. It's hard to gauge. Uh, but they're close enough to the mark to allow Kiwi uh, to float higher. Aussie also um, floated higher. We talked about 68.10 yesterday. We're only 20 points higher. Uh, hasn't done too much. 38 the high today. But long Kiwi, long Aussie looks, looks okay for now. Let's take a look at this dollar yen chart. We talked about this on Twitter. It was spooking me a bit yesterday how this dollar yen was so offered. We did print, I mean, 45 kind of traded, but really no liquidity went through. Um, 48, 47, 46 were all just st stops being run. Um, so I would say the real liquidity point is 48, maybe 49 today. We like dollar yen lower. Um, just because of this chart, uh, the story is is a bit mixed. The dollar in general is getting smashed, uh, so I guess you could apply that to your story. Risk off is mild. Stocks are at 93, but just this chart alone, after all of these green days, we had a really really strong risk risk on day yesterday, story wise, and dollar yen just got thumped. So we like dollar yen lower today, core short dollar yen. Um, 
you can probably smack the pony through 48. Uh, we will be doing something along those lines uh, in dollar yen. We'll have to see how things look as we approach uh, 10850. Boons, we squared up. This is a spooky bar. Um, 170, 73, the low, big tail, close near the high. If you're a fan of candlesticks, which of course we are, I guess this is your hang classic hanging man, usually a change in trend bar. Um, we squared for a number of different reasons. One of them was frustration, um, which is never really a good reason to trade, but Sterling frustrated us yesterday, and couple other things were frustrating us so um, we squared our boons been a good trade for us we will re-enter shorts uh, up here 173 30 to 174 30 core short fixed income is the way still uh, but you can't ignore this this candlestick here uh, what else is there let's talk about dollar cad um, which we did not participate in yesterday really got banged uh, all the commodity currencies uh, stronger printed a low of, of 31 um, today we saw some bids at 30 there's a pretty sizable bid on EBS at 30 130 now it's kind of a double bottom here um, don't have any data today, but Dollar Cad looks like she wants to roll over and go lower here. Uh, again, we did not participate yesterday. If you check our video yesterday, you heard me say I'm tired of Dollar Cad, uh, which is classic, right? As soon as, as soon as you get sick of it, then it collapses. Uh, but no complaints, you know, we, we participated in Aussie and, and uh, we've got some Kiwi now. So water under the bridge, we're moving on, but just recognizing that this uh, double bottom is now incredibly important. Um, we'll just have to see how that story goes. Um, what else is there? Let's take a look at this oil chart, which popped yesterday. Pretty bullish day in oil, which caught us a little bit off guard. Um, you know, we had to square our little core shorts, 53.70. Did make a new high today, 54.20. We still like this lower. Um, we're just trying to tactically look to see where we can sell this thing. Obviously, today in the first move down to 74, there'll be support. Um, and so we're just going to have to take a look at this, maybe sell some sort of stretch high up towards 55. The oil uh, annoying bounce yesterday after pretty bearish uh, inventory news bounced pretty hard. CAD yen, we talked about the 200 day, which is at 82.10, and this is your horse if you're, if you're a risk on guy following the script pretty well I just bring it up because be careful today with CAD yen uh, if the bid at 30 holds and dollar CAD and if dollar yen turns like I do think it's gonna do CAD yen will go lower today so if you have CAD yen on uh, heads up be careful it's like a Euro Swiss totally ridiculous ridiculous bar yesterday I mean what the hell is that 60 the high bearish engulfed looks very very bad um, if this was a normal currency we would be core short and we would add shorts through 10970 but it's not not normal at all it's it's euro swiss so we're just going to leave it alone but um, these kind of bars are very I would call them warning bars just like the dollar yen was a warning bar um, seems bad things might be brewing here's your dollar swiss chart again we avoid these two pairs even though we live here you might argue that i'd be great at trading these 
but they don't have a lot of success trading Swiss. This broke a trend line um, and just collapsed, right? Dollar Swiss, 98.74. And in classic Dollar Swiss fashion, usually these bars are followed by more of the same bars. So heads up, if you're long Dollar Swiss, this shirt looks like it's taking the elevator down. That's really all I got for you today. Uh, let's pull up S&P's. Uh, in the end, S&P's was a neutral bar. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah, neutral. New lows today below 86 uh, make this a little more compelling. At one point when we were down um, at 90, it looked, see we had this bearish engulfing from the highs. Here at 29.90, it looked uh, pretty bearish. This was just as I was leaving the desk for the day. Um, but below 86, below 85, 86, things start to get bearish. But really, this is our point um, here, sort of below 70. Anyway, we'll be playing on the short side through 90 and through 86, depending on the story. Uh, but our main focus today is trading Kiwi from the long side. Um, and core short dollar yen. Good luck today, people. Make some dough. You deserve it. Talk to you on Monday. Ciao.